hey guys welcome back to another video it's your girl michelle in today's video i'm gonna be sharing with you my favorite products of 2022 if you feel like you have the same type of texture as me then this video may be helpful for you as for myself i am a big product hair junkie and as i went along my natural hair journey i had to go through different stages and different trials and tribulations to figure out which products worked well for me sadly i have spent more money than i actually wanted to but once i got everything down to a science and figured out what products worked for my hair then my process became much easier really quickly i'm going to give a disclaimer i'm not telling you to go out and get these products but i'm just going to share with you the products that have worked with my hair that have helped my hair to stay moisturized and also retain length really quickly i'm going to just talk about hair type and hair texture it can be a little controversial I get a lot of comments of people saying that my hair is the way it is because of genetics you no know, i can't be 100 african-american i'm here to let you know that we come in all different shapes and sizes and colors as well as different textures i feel like i fit in the category of 3c 4a only because some of the strands of my hair are a little bit more looser and others are very tight and coily now that that's out of the way we're going to jump into the first product that has really helped me retain the moisture and keep my hair moisturized and i'm pretty sure you have this everybody has this water 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 okay water is one of the first ingredients especially if you're natural that your hair definitely needs to thrive natural hair is naturally dry i find that getting a spray bottle risking my hair throughout the day really helps to keep my hair moisturized again natural hair is very dry so if you're not moisturizing your hair and you're just applying your products without moisturizing your hair with water your hair is still going to remain dry and that is going to then cause breakage believe it or not water is the number one ingredient and the best moisturizer for natural hair it's almost like a plant and if you don't water your plant what's going to happen it's going to dry up and it's going to start to break off this is something i do on a daily basis i'm constantly spraying my hair with a water bottle you can also add your favorite oils of your choice and you can also add aloe vera juice it's really helpful in retaining moisture before styling i always start off with wetting my hair spraying my hair spritzing my hair whatever i have to do that's going to always be my first ingredient now jumping into shampoos i'm somebody who prefers to co-wash my hair and when i say co-wash I really just use a conditioner basically to restore repair and to moisturize my hair throughout the week i find that my hair grows faster when my hair is dirty it may sound crazy but that's the truth because if you're constantly washing your hair then you're washing out the sebum and the actual natural oils that you have in your hair which can then cause your hair to be dry so i find that shampooing my hair once a month is definitely sufficient in between when i co-wash my top two shampoos that i love 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 first one being inner sense hair bath shampoo let me just tell you this is a fairly new pickup for me but i have fell in love with it do you understand everything about the shampoo is a plus when i look for shampoos i look for shampoos that are very thick and jelly like the smell of this shampoo is kind of like a tangerine scent which is not really my favorite but i don't care about that i focus on what it does for my scalp and as you know you have to be very careful when using certain shampoos being that some shampoos are very drying and stripping so you want to make sure that the first ingredient on the back of any of your shampoos contains water using this product gives you an instant lather it's very lightweight but gentle a little goes a long way so you only need a few pumps and as soon as the water hits it it's going to give you that instant lather but moisture so like some shampoos it pulls out the oils from our hair this shampoo actually gives you that moisture it's so moisturizing that i'm able to shampoo from my roots to my tips normally when i use shampoos i just focus on my roots because obviously that's where our hair is mostly dirty that's where the buildup is it literally cleanses it removes buildup specifically for thick curly and coarse hair love 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 the only thing that i don't like about it is the price it is really up there but sometimes you just have to pay a little more to get that top tier quality my second favorite shampoo that i love is dove amplified textures hydrating shampoo dove has stepped their game up top notch okay i've always used dove body washes and soaps but their hair care line is a game changer this shampoo again is another jelly like consistency which i really really love it smells really nice love the most about it is that it's infused with aloe and my hair loves aloe i am an aloe lover and aloe does so well by my hair it hydrates your hair and it also adds shine to your hair it always makes my hair look super shiny and it feels so soft okay so now on to co-washes i literally just use one co-wash this has been my staple for quite some time now this is the as i am coconut co-wash and i love it so much it's light and creamy and it spreads easily onto the hair like i stated before i'm not big on washing my hair so often so what i like to do is co-wash my hair in between my washes which really helps 
helps to retain moisture longer for me and it also cleanses your hair gently like once you rinse it out your hair feels like cotton it's that moisturizing and hydrating and that's what you want and the good thing about this co-wash is that it's gentle enough to use every single day i usually co-wash my hair every two to three days it all just depends on how my hair is what products i have in my hair or the environment i'm in but this has really been helping me retain moisture longer it has really aided in my length retention and overall health in my hair moving on to conditioners now i'm more of a deep conditioner person but i have just one conditioner that i have been sticking to since my big chop and we talking about seven plus years ago this is by far the best conditioner i have ever tried it is very inexpensive it smells so good it does everything that it needs to do and this is the Aussie three minute miracle moist conditioner if you have any tangles any knots your hair is just matted and the thought of you detangling your hair just stresses you out definitely invest in getting Aussie because their conditioner is amazing it's so thick and creamy and literally literally as soon as you wet your hair and you take a nice amount of it don't be afraid to be generous especially if you have really thick dry thirsty hair as soon as i apply it to my hair and i put my hair under water i am literally able to separate my tangles with ease and i'm not talking about with any type of tools i'm talking about with just my fingers if you can detangle your hair without any tools you know you found a winner it's kind of hard to find a three minute miracle I also improvise with the aussie it's like a jojoba and avocado mix which my hair absolutely loves so after shampooing your hair and you're looking for a conditioner that's going to really help detangle your hair before you style it Definitely try this Aussie. Now on to deep conditioners. I prefer a deep conditioner over a regular conditioner any day because you know you're gonna get that deep treatment, that penetration, and it's gonna really repair your dry damaged hair. I'm gonna take it back to my roots when I first went natural and I still use this. I haven't restocked in a while, but this is definitely one of my top picks. LK Naturals honey and deep sage conditioner for one honey is a humectant i look for products that are going to give me that moisture and being that honey is a humectant you know that you're going to get that moisture especially if you have lost it especially if you have been neglecting your hair you're going to need this it's nice and thick i need that thick that creamy that heaviness because my hair is dry and I needed to wake up everything I needed to bring my hair back to life this works wonders especially after applying this and I sit under a heated cap or a heated dryer if you have low porosity hair like myself you always want to make sure that you sit under any type of heat and because what it's going to do is it's going to open up your hair follicles and allow everything to really work through next favorite deep conditioner is by Shea Moisture this one is the raw Shea Butter deep treatment mask they're really good for dry damage and transitioning hair so if somebody who said you know what I'm done with relaxers it's time to transition you don't want to go the route of big chop and you just want to transition you're obviously gonna experience two different textures which makes it hard to really moisturize being that it's two different textures this is gonna do everything that it needs to do it really helps to restore moisture back into your hair if it's dry if you have any type of color damaged hair or you have over processed your hair or you have put too much heat on your hair definitely recommend using this at least once a week under a heated dryer. For my last deep conditioner, I love this Carol's Daughter Dream Detangler Jelly to Cream Conditioner. It's another winner. First of all, it comes in a nice size jar. The presentation is beautiful, but not only is the presentation beautiful of the jar, the smell is beautiful. It contains no power bins, no sulfate. It's all natural, it's all clean, it's all organic. But with this Carol's Daughter, it has aloe and glycerin. You guys know how I feel about aloe. Aloe is going to heal, it's going to soothe, it's gonna hydrate, and it's gonna bring you that moisture. And it also has glycerin. Glycerin is another ingredient that helps with moisture, shine. And what I love about this conditioner is that it's a great detangler, okay? It gives you that nice slip and that nice glide. My detangling process is no longer a process using this. Something that makes us stare away from wash day because if it's a process and it takes us two, three, four hours just to wash our hair, you're not really gonna want to do it hence why we neglect our hair because if something's going to take us too long by the time we're done we're going to end up with arthritis in our fingers now on to leave-ins i've tried so many leave-in conditioners i'm really really picky when it comes to that because i have low porosity hair so a lot of leave-ins that i've tried i noticed that they would just sit on top of my hair and when styling my hair i want to make sure that when i'm using my leave-in being that that's going to be my first ingredient when styling i want to make sure that it's actually working through my hair and not sitting on top it may look moisturizing for a few minutes you don't want is by the end of the day your hair looks dry and it looks dull so my top leave-in right now is the pantene leave-on detangling milk gold series 
Let me just tell y'all, Pantene, I've never been a Pantene person. I've always thought that Pantene products were more steered to Caucasian women, not for kinky, coily, wavy hair, but mm-mm. I beg to differ, they have definitely stepped up their products, and this leave-on detangling milk can be a little deceiving because it's very lightweight. Lightweight, milky consistency, but when you put it on, you can see that it's gonna melt right into your hair. It's not gonna sit on top of your hair. It's gonna go right, it's going through all them layers of your strands, and it's so easy to detangle i'm literally sold because it makes it so much easier it smells good it makes your hair feel super soft it hydrates it and it defines my curls so my next leave in is the dove amplified textures moisture lock leave-in conditioner i also really love this one again it's very light but yet it's creamy it's infused with jojoba and it smells so good and what i love about this leave-in is that it provides long lasting moisture so it's not going to just be temporary it literally gives you long lasting moisture when you apply it especially if you follow up with a sealant and a styler it's really good for twist outs and braid outs it's like a protection barrier it always leaves my hair feeling super moisturized i'm going to talk about creams curling creams i'm not too big on curling cream i just fell in love with this one cream and i just feel like this would be so helpful especially if you're somebody who loves creams this cream is called amica curl corpse defining cream I'm so glad that I came across this curl defining cream. I actually use it as a leave-in. It feels so good when applying it to my hair. My hair just feels so moisturized. I noticed that it prevents frizz. The frizz never hurt anybody, but when you're wearing a wash and go, especially like first day, second day wash and go, you don't want your hair to look frizzy. My hair feels more stronger and it just smells so good. It's very lightweight, but yet it's very strengthening to the hair. So this cream will be good for somebody who's not really too big on like gels and stuff like that. I feel like it's that good that you don't even need to use a gel, especially if you don't like your hair to have that hard gel cast. This cream alone is gonna give you that really soft but bouncy yet moisturizing look while well it's give you that touch of shine. So now moving on to sealants. I'm not really a oil type of person, but I do find that using oils once in a blue moon really helps to keep my scalp healthy and it also helps when doing the lock method. I usually alternate between the lock method, which is a leave-in, an oil, and a cream, or the LOC method, which is a leave-in, a cream, and an oil. Whichever method works better for your hair, I highly recommend it when styling your hair because it's going to give you long lasting longevity super moisture and hydration these methods help to keep your hair moisturized longer and you don't have to constantly reapply your products every single day two top favorite oils right now are jamaican black castor oil which you guys know is my holy grail jamaican black castor oil is very thick in consistency so you don't want to put too much when applying it but you also want to keep this in your archives and on your shelf because what this does is it strengthens your hair it helps to regrow and it helps thicken your hair so you're suffering with baldness especially thinning around the edges which is something that is very common i highly suggest that you get some jamaican black castor oil you can use any jamaican black castor oil there's no specific brand second favorite oil is grapeseed oil i love grapeseed oil grapeseed oil is so good for low porosity hair like i said low porosity hair has a hard time absorbing moisture low porosity hair doesn't really like heavy products because it just it won't allow the hair to breathe so i like to use a lightweight oil which is grapeseed it smells really good and and I love that it contains vitamin E. Vitamin E promotes hair growth and healthy hair shafts. It's also great for breakage. So oiling your scalp is really good if you suffer with dandruff or your scalp gets itchy often. I highly recommend trying oils. But again, this oil is what I use. Bahoba oil is also good for low porosity hair as well as avocado oil. Lastly, for my styler, which I'm gonna talk about like gels. I just have one gel that I stick to. I've been using this gel for years now and it has not steered me wrong. Everybody has their personal opinion. My hair works well with it and I love it. The Olive Oil Eco Styling Gel is hands down my staple product. I will always use it. I don't give up on it even though sometimes it's shady and it makes my hair flake. After styling my hair, this gel can be a little difficult because a lot of products don't mix well with it. So you kind of have to play around with it and do like a test with your leave-in and your gel and mix it together and see if it's gonna turn white on your hands before you apply it. That way it'll save you time from having to rewash your hair. But I love olive oil eco styling gel. The reason why I love it so much is because it holds, it defines my curls and it doesn't dry my hair out. It works well with my leave-ins and my oils. So I haven't had any problems and it just gives you that really sleek look. You like to slick your hair back or you like to put your hair in a bun. You want your hair to hold all day long, then I highly recommend olive oil eco styling gel. So this pretty much wraps up my favorite products of 2022. I'll be honest with you guys, I had to narrow this down because 
there are many more products that I could definitely recommend for you guys but I didn't want this video to be too long so if you guys want me to do a part two of this or you want me to do a specific video on just shampoos just conditioners or just stylers feel free to leave me a comment down below I hope this video helped you because sometimes we just don't know what we're doing with our hair I know when I first started this whole natural hair journey I was clueless and I was just like what the hell am I supposed to do with my hair? I tried this, I tried that, and my hair still looks real dry. It looks damaged. And people are asking me why I didn't do my hair. Mind you, I did. And that can be discouraging and that can make us feel quite offended. These are some products that I have used for me that give me the best moisture, that make my hair look healthy, that keep my hair looking healthy, and has really helped me to retain length. Really important to learn the products and learn what your hair likes and what your hair doesn't because a lot of products that we may be using in our hair may be our downfall, may be the reason why our hair is not thriving, may be the reason why our hair is constantly dry. So you wanna make sure that the products that you're using are always gonna be moisturizing, always natural, and that the first ingredient is always gonna be water. Water is key. If that first ingredient is not water, put that back on the shelf, it ain't for you, sis. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you made it this far on the video and you still didn't subscribe, I don't know what you're waiting for, but it's not too late. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure to follow me on all my social medias. I will also all the products down in the description i love you guys so much thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video